were discussing our own thing, but we struggle, the background of struggle, solidarity we have as former liberation movements who are being targeted. We are saying we must fight back. We're discussing that. Mm -hmm. Now, Excellency, uh, your counterpart always talks about economic diplomacy, time for countries to trade, and I'm sure it's part of the also fight back modus of operandi that is being uh, talked about by Dr. Gingob here. So, will we see increased um, terms of trade between the two countries, maybe more products from Zimbabwe? I know it, it's the bread and What is bread critically basket. important? is that each single country in the Sadiq should be food secure. Once our populations are food secure, then we look outwards for other things. We in Zimbabwe are now food secure. I was explaining to my brother how we are able to make food secure at the household level, the village level. How we do it. It's a model which is very simple. Once a country is food secure, the rest follows. So I discussed with my brother telling the model we have in Zimbabwe, uh, which is a village wisdom model. <laughs> the courtesy meeting was the first since President Mnangagwa retained the presidency in the harmonized general elections last month, where he gained 52,6% of the votes. President Gengob was the first among the leaders to congratulate Mnangagwa on his re-election, despite criticism from some opposition parties and election observers. Allegations include that the election process was reportedly inconsistent with the Zimbabwean constitution and SADC election guidelines. However, no candidate or party has so far lodged any case with that country's court to challenge the outcome. The Namibian government has since defended Dr. Gengob's congratulatory message, saying that it is in line with the diplomatic standards and practices, and that Namibia respects the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's mandate as an independent and competent body. Blanche Goreses at the UN headquarters.